Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to create this reflected text effect using GIMP. As you can see, the final effect makes the text look like pages of a book that are just sort of falling outwards. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.32, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. <laughs> Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can also enroll in my brand new WordPress 6.0 for non-coders course on Udemy. Or you can get access to additional content by becoming a DMD premium member, including access to my new WordPress 6.0 course. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I'll be using a free font called Inter for this tutorial. You can download it here from Font Squirrel. Just click download TTF. So let's start this off by hitting Control N on the keyboard. And I'll go with 1920 by 1080 and click OK. And what I'll do first is change the background color by using my foreground swatch. And I've got my color right here. 32322C is the HTML notation. So I'll click OK and I'll click and drag this onto my canvas and release. And now what I need to do is add some center guides to this. So what I'll do is go to image, guides, new guide by percent. We'll go vertical first, make sure this is set to 50 and click OK. Control Shift F to bring up the window again, change it to horizontal and click OK. But once you have your center guides placed, you're going to come over here and grab the text tool from the toolbox and we're gonna switch the color here to white. And for the font, we're gonna go with that Inter font or whatever font you wanna use. I'll go Inter Heavy. And let's change the size of the font to 350. You can also change the color to white using this box here. And we don't need any of the spacing, so I'll set that to zero. So now I'll come over here to my canvas and with the caps lock key on, I'm gonna click on the canvas and type GIMP. And now what I need to do is I need the text to be horizontal. Right now it is vertical text. So I'll hit control A to, cop to uh, select all the text there. And I'm gonna right click and go to vertical right to left mixed orientation. And now I'll grab my move tool and just move this roughly into place here like so. So once that's in place, I'm gonna go to layer, crop to content. And then if you want, you can realign this so it aligns better to the guides. Once we've done that, what I'll do is grab the rectangle select tool. And I'm just going to click and drag this. I'm going to release my mouse. In my case, I've got fixed checked. I'm going to uncheck that. And now I'm just going to draw this all the way to the edges and then just drag it up. So basically, what I'm trying to do is create guides from this selection area and I'm trying to create the guides so that they're a little bit inwards from the text itself. So I'm going to click and drag the middle of this selection area and you'll see it'll snap to the middle guides there so it's nice and aligned. That gives us equal room on the top and bottom. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go to image, guides, new guides from selection and when I hit Control Shift A to deselect that, we now have these guides going across where the selection was. So next what I'll do is I'm going to color this a little bit. So the reason I'm doing that is it's going to add a bit of an effect as if you know it's uh, getting lighter as you go outwards away from the center, darker as you go towards the center. So over here in my layers panel, on the GIMP text layer, I'm going to lock the alpha channel of this. That basically means that it won't affect the transparency as we draw a color on here. So I'll hit the G key to grab my gradient tool from the toolbox. And I have white as my foreground and that blackish color as my background color. I have the shape set to linear. The gradient itself is foreground to background RGB. So this option right here. So now what I'll do is just click and drag the gradient. If I hold control, it'll drag it in straight line mode. And you can adjust this to your liking, but as you can see, it just gives it a cool effect where it looks like the bottom of the lettering is in shadows. So I'll hit the enter key to apply my gradient. Once I've done that, I'm going to use 
the Unify Transform tool to transform the text. And I can hit Shift T on the keyboard to grab that or come over here and just click and hold and click on Unify Transform. So what I'll do is I'm going to grab these little corners here to change the perspective. So you'll see it's not the outer one, it's the inner handle there. Click and drag that inwards. And then this square handle here, that's the scale. I'm going to click and drag that. But what I have to do is hit Control Z because I want to make sure that it's not scaling everything like that. So let's hit Control Z once again. So what I need to do is come over here to the tool options and you'll see it says constrain with shift in parentheses. That's saying that the scale tool right now is constraining this unless I hold the shift key. So if I click on my composition and hold the shift key, you'll see the scale is no longer checked. And then if I click and drag this, it'll scale just the one side so that it's squishing this, which is what we want, and I can release. So when I release the shift key, now scale is checked again. If you don't want to have to hold the shift key every time, you can uncheck that. So now I don't have to hold the shift key and I can perform that same thing. And then when I do hold the shift key, it'll scale everything. So I'll hit Control Z. So once you're ready, you can come over here and click Transform. And that's going to transform our first layer of text. And what I'll do now is come over here and just turn off the Lock Alpha Channel option. That way the Alpha Channel is no longer locked on this layer. Then what I'll do is hit forward slash and start to type recursive. And I'm going to grab the recursive transform tool. And I'm going to make sure paste below is checked. And then what I'll do is hold the shift key first. So you want to make sure you hold the shift key first on this tool. And then click and drag outwards. And by holding the shift key first, we're dragging it in straight line mode. So I'm just going to drag it out so that there's still some coverage here. So there's still some overlap of the layers before. And then what I'll do is I'm going to increase the iterations to six. And then next what I'll do is I'm going to click and drag the scale, the scale handle there. And you'll see that as I do that, it's going to allow the letters to look like they're sort of fanning out like a book. So once I'm ready, I'll click OK. So we have the effect on the right side. Of course, now we need to add it to the left side. But instead of having to do all those steps again, what we can do is come over here to the GIMP text layer and duplicate that. Hit Shift F to grab the flip tool. You can grab it over here in that little transform group in the toolbox. And just click it once to flip it. And you should have your direction here set to horizontal. If not, if it's set to vertical, just click horizontal and then click on it. So then I'm going to grab the Move tool by hitting the M key. And holding Control, I'm going to drag this over to the other side and release. By holding the Control key, you are dragging in straight line mode. And then if I click off of here and hit Control shift t to hide the guides, now you're going to see we have the finished effect. All right, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.